today we're going to talk about a movie, but not just any movie. We're going to talk about the movie American Mary by Jen and Sylvia Soska, known collectively as the Soska Sisters. Why them and why now? Well, it's because they are about to release a comic book with the Ripaverse called Yaira Number One, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I decided to see what else they've done. And this movie here was intense. And in case you're wondering, yes, the Sasuke sisters themselves appear in the movie. Anyway, this movie is a, a bit of a horror film about a med student who does body modifications. The whole atmosphere of it is real creepy. And when she initially does the modifications, she is, of course, very overwhelmed at first because she'd never done a modification like that before. But she starts doing more of them because she needs the cash. However, one day, her professor does something to her. And it just spirals from there. Anyhow, the film is largely not so much scary as disturbing, but in a good way. It knows what it wants to be. It's trying to make you uncomfortable and freak you out. And I'd say it succeeds there, even though you don't see that much gore. I mean, you do see the, some cutting and some blood, but you don't see zooming in of the actual tortures. And I found that surprising because I thought there would be more of that, but it turns out that's not the case. Nonetheless, it works. And you know, you just want to you just wonder what's going to happen to Mary as the movie goes on. Now, I do wonder how they did a lot of those effects, because the effects showing the dismemberments and the like look pretty realistic, pretty well done, even though this isn't some effects-laden movie or anything like that. I was quite impressed, but at the same time a little bit disturbed. Because you could really be led to think that they were actually cutting people's parts off here. But fortunately, that's not the case. If the Saskas and recent appearances are any indication. Now, I was of course curious as to see how she would turn out, and I would say that the ending is a satisfying one that fits, but I don't want to go too much into that, because the whole point of this is to get you to see the movie, and you should see it if you have a tolerance for creepy atmospheres and the like. Normally, I'm not really a fan of horror movies. Honestly, I would not have watched this movie at all if the Saskas weren't, weren't the ones that made it. So, I would say that they did a good job here. And that they could, or rather, I'm looking forward to what they do with Yaira. Thank you for listening.